So this is how to create an assignment in Schoology. So like I always do, I always start with my homeroom class all right, by going to courses. So I've been working in the friction folder, so I'm going to scroll down until I find it. So I'm going to enter my friction folder. And to create an assignment, I'm going to go to add materials. Then I'm going to go to assignment. And I wait for it to load. It usually doesn't take this long. So I'm going to name it. So I'm going to say examples of friction occurring in the, can I help if I spelled occurring correctly, in the real world. So I might put directions, identify five five examples of friction in the real world. Please put your answers in complete sentences. So down below I can identify a due date if I'd like, just kind of like with the folders. I can identify how many points I want it to be. So I might do 10 points. So uh, one point for each example of friction, another point for having them in complete sentences because we all know they hate writing in sentences. I can choose the category. So these are what I have so far. If I want to create a new one, I can. So I might just have it as homework. All right, so then the scale would be numeric. Comments enabled, I tend to delete because the kids tend to think that's where they submit their assignment. And I want the submissions enabled so the students can do that. And I will show you what that looks like for a student. So I am blind, so I like to make it big. So then the kids have no reason not to understand what they have to do. And I always make the directions bold. And then I usually give them directions. Um, I also put submit your answers in the upper right. So then they've got what's required, and I can hit create. Now, so here's my assignment. I can look at it like they see it. And over here where it says submissions for me, it will say submit assignment for them. So this is what they see. I can also go back. And I can edit it. If there was something I forgot or the kids say, hey, there's a uh, grammar mistake, I can fix it right then and there for them, which I do find helpful. I always tell the kids they're my helpers. So if I for want, want to change the grade or if I want to change what it's graded under, I can edit any of this. Okay? So that's saving my changes. So what this looks like for the students. So I've signed into my account and it's actually my dad's account but I use this so I see what the kids see so I'm going to go to my class so Colville Science so this is exactly what a student's account will look like and I always use it when I'm showing the kids so then I want to go down to after it's done thinking I want to go down to where it says my friction folder So here's my animations that we showed before, and now here's my assignment down below. And the assignments always have the little pencil. So like I said, in here it says submit assignment. So for the students to kind of submit a Word document, they will hit submit assignment and then they go to create. And they can just start writing one Friction is between the two plate boundaries and a transform fault boundary. Or I can say two, and I always make them number it. Friction, oops. Friction is 
when I rub my hands together to stay warm during the winter. So if this was my assignment and I wasn't done, I would obviously hit save draft as a student. And then if they need to, they can come back and edit it. All right, so let's say I'm done. Yeah, I'm lazy. I'm only doing two-fifths of my assignment, so the highest I can get is 40%. So I'm going to hit Submit. So now I'm going to go back to my teacher account. Okay, so as a teacher, I'm going to go into the assignment. And I can see that Paul Girdings needs a grading. And what's also nice is up here in the notifications, I get a... Uh, a little notification telling me he's d completed and submitted his assignment. So I can click on this and it'll pop up eventually. Maybe. If I have to, I sometimes have to hit download file. It doesn't always happen. I actually like to grade the best on my iPad. Yep, there it's coming. Okay, and I can zoom in just like any normal document. So I know I only got four points. So what I like is I can give him a grade and then I can say, where are your other three examples of friction? And then I hit show to students so the student sees. And I hit submit. And then I just hit X to prove. And then now it's showing me in submissions how many points Paul Girding got. So now if I go back to my student account and I hit refresh. There we go. So now in this upper right hand corner, it tells me my grade is 4 out of 10. And if I uh, put my cursor over that talking bubble, it says, where are your other three examples of friction? So I can resubmit this. So if I click on the assignment submitted, I can get the work I already did. I hit new draft. And the new draft is going to give me my previous work. And here it is. So I can continue with number three. Blah, blah, blah. And then I can either hit save draft or submit. And that is how you can create assignment and grade an assignment.